This is a composition book that I altered to create just a little writing journal. And it's quick, it's easy, fun to do, makes a great little gift that you can stick in a stocking stuffer around the holiday season or have on hand to give when you may need something. So let me share with you how I did it. My name is Peg to Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and of course the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. To get started I cut some paper for this compos composition book if I can struggle over those words. I measured the book and pulled out some white cardstock and I'm just going to cut it down to the size to cover that journal. I did cut all the pieces the same and I cut them measuring from the binding of the comp book over to the edge and that turns out to be a little bit of a mistake and I'll show you why later but we fixed it. First thing I'm going to do is lay down a very thin layer on the gel press of Mars Black and I am going over it to remove some of the paint and to get it nice and even. I have this stencil. This is another one from my Stencil Girl monthly subscription. I think that's $25 a month. I think I said $15 in an earlier video, but I just looked at my bill. It's $25. And I'm pulling out the paint where the stencil is not. So I'm blotting with this piece of paper. And I'm just going to go over it once again because I'm trying to make sure I get all of that black out of the areas where the stencil doesn't cover the press. This is just a spoon I keep on my desk and that just gives a little bit more pressure than my hand or helps get down inside that stencil to remove that paint. And this will make a nice background for something else in the future. And I think I'm going to work on that soon. So you can see where I've removed the paint. I just wanted to kind of give you a close-up, let you see where I've removed that paint with the stencil. Now this is just a gold. I'm going to squirt some on here and spread it around on top of the stencil trying to fill those holes that we just took the paint out of. And I got a little bit too much there so I'm just going to blot that down and I think I'll squirt the paint here on the side and ink up my brayer and do it that way to avoid that. So I'm getting a nice coverage with that gold but still trying to keep it relatively thin. I don't want to pile up the paint on this press. So now that I have both of those colors down, I'm just going to remove this stencil. I'm going to blot it just a little bit, get some of that paint off of the top of the stencil, see if we can get it on, on these little pieces. And there you go. Looks like there's a little bleed where I squirted it on. So I think um, brayering, inking your brayer or getting the paint on your brayer first is probably a good idea, but I think that'll look okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with it. Now the gray is what we'll use to pull this print. So a fine coat of gray and you can see I've let that dry to the touch underneath and when you put this coat of gray on you should be able to see your print underneath the gray so your that black and gold will stay in place and we're going to pull it with the gray so the gray will be your bottom color the gold will be next and the black will be the top color on this pole. And there we go. And I actually like the, the way that looks. It just gives it a, a little bit definition on both sides. So we'll use that. And now we'll just do a few more. 
and get ready to place these on the composition book. So I did the same process multiple times. I'm also going to reverse the colors out a bit. I'll speed this up and I'll meet you on the other side. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy To the ones who lost their hope Ready, and I wanted to share this one with you. I got this when I cleaned the plate, and this is just on a piece of copy paper, but I thought it was good and I wanted to show it to you. So now I want to just kind of go over what we have, put those in place on the book, determine what we want for the front, what we want for the back, what we're going to use here on the inside, and just get them glued down and in place on the book. So first I'm going to fold up my, my little sheet that um, this is the ugly truth underneath those papers, but I keep those papers and use them for other projects. So we'll get a clean one. We'll begin inking around the outside edge of all of these sheets with the black ink just to frame, frame it in. And once again, these are cover stock or card stock printed on the gel press and I measured from that black line over to the edge and now I'm going to glue those in place and I told you there was a, a mistake with this and and you'll see what that is when we go to glue that on the inside so let's just get this down nice and firm I use Mod Podge to lay it down but I am going to come back with some some uh, tacky glue and glue those edges where you know they're pulling up a little bit so I think when I do the back, I'm going to lay the tacky glue down first. So let's flip that over, put some wax paper on the inside to keep glue off of our pages. And like I said, I'm going to go around the outside edge with the tacky glue, maybe hit it with the Mod Podge mixture, like mixture, mixture of glue and water on the inside. And let's get this second one inked should have inked them all at one time. We'll get it inked and lay this down and we'll allow that to get good and dry and then we'll go back and trim those trim those edges up. So there I think that's making a pretty good little looking little composition book. So let's trim up the edges. I'm going to ink around it once again. And I'm just using an archival black ink. A stays on pad. And I had one that was a little fussy, so I'm going to cut it with my 
X-Acto knife and I tore it a little bit so I'm going to glue that down and we'll ink over the top of that and no one will ever know. And there we have the outside started with this. Just continue to trim and get everything nice and neat. One last little ink around the outside edges. Checking to make sure everything is secure. And now I want to make a pencil holder. And I had this little um, velvet bag that my microphone came in that I use when I do my voiceovers. And I never put it up, so I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to use that little black felt. It will look nice with this print. So I'll just glue that. Make sure that my pencil's going to fit in there. And I'm just going to flip this over and glue it down with some Fabri-Tec. If I can get the glue to come out of the bottle. It's a new bottle, so I need to cut the top. And we'll lay that down. Fold it up and glue it once again. I'm just putting the pen there to make sure I have enough space. And there, that's going to look nice on that, don't you think? So we'll allow, allow that to dry and then we'll put our inside cover on. So here is where the mistake becomes apparent. It's not big enough. So I'm just going to fit it up to the outside edge. And fortunately, I made more than I needed. And we will make this part of the design element. So we'll, we're going to pretend that we meant to do it this way. Or I'm going to pretend that I meant to do it this way. So I'm going to glue both of these down. And I'm going to glue, lining it up with the outside edge of the inside cover. And I got some paint on that last sheet, so I'm just going to tear that out. And now I'm going to take my extra sheet and just tear that, pulling it towards me so I don't get a lot of white. I'm going to ink around the outside edge and glue this down on the inside to cover up that area where I cut this inside cover too short. So two, two things I learned here. One, measure twice, cut once. And two, always do a couple of extra prints in case you make a mistake. And I'll do the same thing here on the back. And I've decided I want uh, some additional decoration on the front. So we'll get to that here as soon as this dries. Just going to do one more trim to get those corners rounded. Ink again. Final trim, final cleanup, a little inking 
to cover any area that I trimmed, making sure the pencil fits or the pen fits, and stick that down inside there. Find a nice pin to go with this, and the outside is done. But I want to put this arrow on, on the front. And the arrow has a little semblance for me. I, in college, was in the Pi Beta Phi sorority, and the arrow was our lavalier, or it was our, our icon. So I always kind of enjoy putting an arrow on, on anything, but I would like this one to be gold. So I am taking my texture paste and thinking that I mix it with gold paint and I will have a nice gold texture paste. But it's not really getting to the complete color that I would like for it to be. And rather than um, spending a tremendous amount of time updating this little texture paste recipe and making sure that I don't get it too wet, I think we'll test what we have right here on a sheet of paper. Allow that to dry and see if it's going to harden the way that it needs to, to be on the front of this book. So we'll let that dry and come back and check it. I've also masked off the... Um, two other arrows. And yes, it did harden. I'm going to go ahead and lay this texture paste down. But while it is wet, I am going to cover it with some embossing powder that is mirror gold and come back in with my heat gun and try not to get too close to this to bubble the texture paste, but close enough to heat the embossing powder and have that um, emboss this front cover. So you, you need to be very careful by not sustaining too much heat. And I do have a small little place that bubbled, so I'm going to um, sand that down a little bit and take my embossing pen and go over the areas where it didn't cover thoroughly and we'll emboss once again. And that will complete this little book for now. We are close to finished. I'm going to tear out the pieces of paper that have a little paint on them to clean the book up, scratch off the little bit of glue that I have left, and we are finalized. So I think this makes a nice little project for a gift. It is quick, it's easy, using your gel press, some texture paste, and a little embossing powder, and you have a completed project. I am going to finish the inside, so watch for the next video. I'm going to do a couple of things with washi tape and make some tabs and do some other things on the inside, I think. So once again, to Old Crows Mixed Media, thank you to all of you that subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your comments and really enjoy um, watching the um, interaction on the channel. So again, thank you and bye for now.